Well, it's not a very pretty day in Rancho Max. It's raining. It's about 60. But not very pretty. But I got something that is pretty. I think. I just picked it up at the butcher shop. When I was dropping off those big uh, Victor Knox knives. A guy walked in while I was there and wanted to know, did he know anybody that could sharpen knives? The butcher guy says, well, you're standing right next to him. <laughs> Sheer blind luck. He says it's handmade by a blacksmith in Colorado somewhere. It's a nice looking tomahawk. I like it. Got little file marks here. I can't find any maker's mark or anything. Got two marks there, which probably means something to somebody. I got some slow, some better pictures of it. Well, we've gone through, uh, I use 3M Trizad belts. We've gone through the, uh, I call them a, uh, A65s. I've gone through A30s. I've gone through A16s. Now I'm getting ready to start on A6, which is like 2500 grit. I got the edge uh, in good shape. I was going to bring it up more, profile it back up to here a little bit more, but it works out good where it is. I, I didn't think it would, but it's doing a pretty good job right there. Okay, stand by. <coughs> A6 3M Trizad. Trizac. I started out using them long ago and I've tried a few other ones but I always go back to the Trizacs. Some people like them stiffer but I guess it's just all in what you get used to. Stand by. Now I'm in the 4000 grit Trizad. Call it A3. Somewhere it's on here. Sometimes it's just hard to see. There it is. A3. Stand by. You see it's a lighter colored belt. Finer. 4000 grit. To make it super polished. Before the leather. We're on the leather now with diamond paste. Four micron diamond paste on leather. First belt. Like I said, I run belt belts under my leather keep them from stretching you know from cling spore the leather belts I get them from my buddy uh, Doug Risen in Honey Grove Texas <coughs> the emulsion stuff I get from Ken Swartz I'm sure most of y'all know who he is 4 micron I got it up to I go to 2 micron, then I go to 0.5 micron, then a 0.025 micron, which is like 60,000 grits. Diamond paste. You shake it up, you rub the belt in, let it dry. Some people use paste. I mean the paste. This is emulsion, water-based emulsion. Don't get confused. There's two different things. But they work basically the same. I just like the emulsion better. But most like the paste better. I don't know. Stand by. 
Now in the video I may have said something that I got my leather belts from Doug Rising in Texas, Honey Grove, Texas, but that was slight error. I get my 3M Trizad belts from Doug Rising in Honey Grove, Texas. Leather belts I get from Super Super Grit or True Grit Pops once in a while. Pops most of the time. But here's the way the Trizads come. You just order whatever you want in quantity. He puts them all together, makes them up, and out they go. He, he sharpens stuff too in Texas. Sharper blades, scissors, and clipper blades. Doug Rising, I'll put this contact information in here so y'all have it if you need any trizads. They're nice belts. 3M. Okay, that's it. Well, you saw I went through the 4 micron. Then I went through the 2 micron. Diamonds. I didn't go any higher than the 0.05. That's like 30,000 grit. Whoops. That's not it. Where is that baby? Here it is. Okay, that little taquito is done. Razor sharp, ready to go scalping. I guess they use knives for scalping, tomahawks for killing. See you later. Excuse me. I'm battling a bad cold too. I even had to go to the doctor yesterday. That's why I haven't been detected much. Got all kinds of damn drugs. Take two and then one every day. Six tablets, some strong stuff. And some NyQuil. God, I ate it. But I feel pretty good today. I was in bad shape yesterday. Okay, I gotta run. I'll see you later.